Welcome back. Hope you had a good lunch. Whenever you're okay. ready. Sure. So, the, what we're trying to do is recount the number of words in the book, Moby Dick. So, we can use this as our template, this word count function we wrote earlier, except instead of a string, we're now going to take a reader, which is an io.reader. And instead of this kind of loop, we're going to loop with a scanner. So the way we do that, we say scanner, scanner. give it a reader, scanner.split to tell it to split by words instead of lines. And then we loop with for scanner.scan. need to change this bit here. We can get that from any of these guys. Just copy that. So open the file name. This is probably going to be mobi.txt, right? Now we have our file. File is a reader, so we can just pass it to word count. So that gives us all the counts of every word in the book. And then we just need one of them. So let's find out how many times whale appears in the book. Number of whales counts. Split word, scan word, scan words. Right, so the word here is scan it out. Theoretically, that should work. Go to the word count folder, go install, and run word count. It doesn't work because there's no mobi.txt, so I need to go download that. Right here. I'm going to teach you a trick here. It's called curl. I don't know curl, but you use HTTP from the terminal. So curl dash O with a capital O. We'll write that out. We'll download the file. that would work. I think I have it somewhere. Apparently I don't. I got 392. Might have gotten something different if, for example, we decided that we wanted lowercase word. We could say strings dot to lower. Right. So now all the words are the same case. Let's see what that gets us. 530. So there's a bunch more if we get rid of like capital W rail. Um, other things we could do is strip out. Uh, punctuation, right? Because it thinks that a word is like whale comma is different than whale. So maybe we could fix that. There's a lot of other things we could do. It's not that important. All right. Caleb? Yeah? It's not necessary that the scanner be used, the scanner to be used with buffer, buffer. Correct? Or do, do they have to be working correspondence with each other? The scanner is part of the Buffalo library. Okay. Okay. Um, we 
can look at that. So scanner, how does scan work? So a scanner has um, this reader, this split function, this max token size thing, and a buffer. Notice this is a slice of bytes, 40,000, sorry, 4,096 bytes large. Uh, and then it's, when you scan it, it's going to have this logic about you know, whether it's read or not. And eventually it's going to read. Anyway, a lot of lot of handling of cases and all kinds of stuff. But it's just going to read short buffer, so it's doing buffering for you. Um, Talking about over scratch loop. Yeah. Questions about this? Everybody understand what this is doing? Opening a file, counting the words in the file, and then finding out how many will. Uh, was anybody surprised how fast this program runs? I sure was. It's like instantaneous. I mean, it parsed the entire book and found the answer right away. So, like I said, computers are fast, and we take that for granted sometimes, but um, if we think, Oh, counting all the words in a book, that sounds hard. For a computer, that's easy, okay? It's hard for us. That would probably take weeks to do, right? <laughs> so, all right. I don't know, man. After a couple of days of watching how your brain works, I, I give you an hour or two. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have a higher processor speed than mine. <laughs> Okay, so let's modify this program and create a new program. So I'll get us started here. And what we want to do with this program <coughs> is create a longest word program, which finds the longest word. Okay. So call it. So package main. And we'll, we'll copy all the uh, word count here. We'll just copy this guy first to get us started. Okay, so we're going to rename this to longest word. What's it going to return? Oh, incidentally, that's a nice feature. I hit Command D in Windows, you hit Control D. Uh, that selects the next bit of text. <coughs> so it's super handy if you need to rename things, like for example, source file. I could rename. Hit it again to get the third one. And I can type and save yourself a whole bunch of time. Uh, but anyway, what's the so we, we're still going to take it a reader. <coughs> we're still going to be looking through a file. But how, what's the return type now? Yeah. String. String. Because we're looking for the longest one. We don't care how long it is. So, I mean, we don't need to say that. We can just look at the string to figure that out. So the trick is we're going to have to get rid of this. stuff, and then insert code here, and, you know, return something. Okay? So that is our next project. Everybody get it? Find the longest word in Moby Dick. Can we put that on scratch, too, please, for those who, uh, <coughs> hey, uh, want to start from there. How do I get out of the, uh, Close the file. 